I've had to wear glasses and contact lenses since I was about one and a half, so all my life. Um, and maybe I started wearing contact lenses really early, about 11. Well, I enjoy swimming. Uh, I love playing tennis. I ski a lot as well, and I've just taken up surfing. Um, I just found that when you're wearing contact lenses, it's very inconvenient having to pop them in, pop them out. My eyes often run dry, and you get very sensitive as well, dealing with solutions, washing your hands. It's, it was just a real, real nuisance. And I work in an office, so um, it's an aircon office, and they would dry out a lot and irritate my eyes. Um, I work as a communications officer, um, so I'm constantly looking at computers, um, doing visuals and things like that, so my eyes would get quite dry. Uh, and the lights in the office found it, it gave me headaches or strain, and just constantly felt uncomfortable and didn't want to ca carry on wearing contacts if there was anything I could do. I went to, co to a couple of the high street, uh, the well-known high street um, brands, and um, I almost felt like they were, it was like a business um, deal to them rather than really caring about my needs. Um, I went to one or two and they g gave me conflicting advice. Um, I wasn't sure whether laser was suitable for me or not, but they just seemed to be wanting to sign me up quick to get the surgery done. Um, at, at Advanced Vision Care, I had a, a couple of hours of testing um, and he w the consultant was really honest and said, laser is not for you, it will be problematic to your eyes. I knew that I couldn't have laser treatment because of my prescription was too high. So um, we just kind of had a look to see what was available and we came across um, vision care on the internet. I just think that Dr Pillar has got a very good reputation. I've spoken to a lot of people who's had operations done under him and have been very happy with the service. So I decided to come here. My, I wasn't suitable for laser surgery because my corneas were too steep and um, they didn't think it would be suitable for my particular vision. I have a lazy eye and a squint and also an astigmatism, so laser wasn't an option for me. Um, but um, ICLs or implantable contact lenses was an option and it's an option I hadn't heard of before so it was, it was brilliant. So they explained the process through um, and I was really scared but I decided to go for it. Uh, they suggest that I go for an uh, implantable contact lens uh, because my myopia is pretty severe, my cornea is a little bit on the thin side, they were concerned that if I were to have laser surgery, which is what I originally came for, I might not be completely satisfied with the results. Uh, I have to say initially I was very shocked and very disappointed because I heard so much about laser eye treatment, all my friends have had it, and that was what I wanted. Um, having researched a little bit about it for about two weeks, I decided to go ahead with the procedure and I have to say it's been an amazing, amazing experience. The recovery period was very quick, literally three hours. Uh, I could see very well, and I was able to resume working within the following day. Implantable contact lens surgery is slightly more expensive than the laser procedures, and I was kind of concerned about the high kind of one-off cost of that. But in terms of how much I was spending on contact lens solutions, replacing my contact lenses, having to get new glasses, the um, cost of the implantable contact lens surgery will kind of repay itself in a matter of a couple of years. So they, put, they make a small incision and they implant contacts behind the eye. Implantable contact lens is basically similar to wearing contact lens, except you do not need to put it in every day. It's, it's inserted into your eye permanently uh, behind your natural lens and thereby you do not feel that it's in the eye and within the space of I would say one to two days it's as natural as just having perfect vision all your life. It was a bit uncomfortable because you got a light <laughs> shining right in your eye um, but no it was okay. But you are aware of what's going on and the surgeon was brilliant in talking through every step and it was quite a comfortable experience, really. It was quite interesting to have him talk through what he was doing. What really reassured me was the surgeon who operated on my eye, he himself had an ICL done in, on himself. And also, when I was in the surgery, the surgeon managed to correct my astigmatism in my right eye. Um, I'd had that since I was born, it's now gone. <laughs> I found the procedure to be very quick. I didn't need a fact it's about 20 minutes in surgery. It felt like three minutes. Uh, it didn't feel long at all, it wasn't painful. It was very quick and I was able to see pretty much very rapidly a few hours afterwards. So after the surgery, um, you stay in London overnight and you get um, to see the consultant again the next day just to check everything's okay. So that's a real great reassurance. Um, after that, 
you are free to go home, you're free to drive almost immediately. And I went back to work the very next day. Um, having ICR has totally changed my life. It means I could just get up, wash and go. Uh, it allows me to jump into the sea when I feel like it without having to even think twice about whether I could actually see when I'm swimming. Uh, so it's been a tremendous change in my life. I've become a much more active and social person. I've actually lost a lot of weight as a result of having ICR down on my eyes, which is amazing. Um, I've got friends who wear glasses or contact lenses and I have been raving about this te technique. I think implantable contact lenses are almost better than laser. They don't affect the structure of your eye, that you can take them out if you ever needed to and your eye would be back to the position it was in before surgery. I can swim, I can run, I can do anything. It's amazing. <laughs>